It's interesting here how the situation changes from the dark, lonely apartment to her perhaps dreaming, wishing. Marhaba, salam alaikum. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. We are going to check out something by a beautiful lady named Nancy Adram. Nancy is from Lebanon, Achiafie, Beirut, in Lebanon. And uh, she is a lovely lady who has been making music for a long time. She has almost 8 million subscribers. This is one of the reasons I love bringing you world music because... It is so easy sometimes in our own world to be exposed to either our favorite artists or only the genres that we listen to or maybe even only the languages and cultures we are familiar with versus realizing there are artists out there who have millions and billions of views but they don't play on our radios here and they're amazing nonetheless. Nancy Adjran put a song out called Badi Hada Hebu and if I saw correctly it means I want someone to love this song was put out five months ago I believe over five million views and I'd like to check it out with you so get ready um, and let's dive in as always like share subscribe I'm so happy you're here here we go The song titled, I Want Someone to Love, and then coming home, beautifully dressed, elegant, perhaps from a party, to say, to then come home to this dark apartment or house, I think sets the stage for the idea, perhaps, that we're getting here. You come home, you're alone, right? The the glam is over, you style yourself, you went out among the people, you look beautiful or handsome, and now you come back into an empty place. It's dark, it's somber. I think many of us may be able to relate to that. Let's listen. بدي حدا حبه عن جد زهقت بدي حدا بقلبه حس حالي خلقت بدي حدا بقربه ما حس بالوقت ينسيني الوقت ينسيني الوقت Real quick, you guys, it's interesting here how the situation changes from the dark, lonely apartment to her perhaps dreaming, wishing, right, what it would be like her in the arms of someone she loves, light, sunshine breaking through into the apartment, right, a completely different setting from nighttime and loneliness to an embrace, light, sunshine. What is beautiful about the Arabic language to me is that it is so emotional and melodic. So though you may not usually listen to music like this, some some of you may, maybe this is why you're here. <laughs> Welcome. Marhaba. Shukran for watching. Thank you for watching this. But I think that those who are not as familiar with it may find some of it cheesy at times, maybe from the more Western societies or over the top. But I think it's important to notice how music and psychology works together so beautifully. And just as much as sometimes when we find ourselves enjoying rock or symphonic metal or rap and we find ourselves enjoying the heavy topics and the emotion just as much love and joy and romance and these softer, if you will, um, emotions 
also have their place and are also beautiful to experience. It may be easier for men, women to often experience this in the West than it is for men, as Dax says in his song, you know, um, to be a man, right? It's hard uh, from a societal standpoint for men to tap into some of those emotions, whereas from women, it's more tolerated or accepted or expected. But I think it's so cool to learn. It's so amazing to see how different cultures embrace that right where where in the west it's different than in the eastern cultures and where we can learn from one another when it comes to music um one of the things that are interesting about arabic music is that they are often less polyphonic and more homophonic there's less an emphasis on harmonies but more on melody and rhythm um now, that doesn't mean that Arabic music can't be polyphonic, but oftentimes you will find more of that, the melody, the rhythm. As we see here, we hear her voice, we see the rhythm. Another thing that is beautiful in Arabic music that I find beautiful is the uh, mawal. I hope I'm saying it right. It's a traditional and popular Arabic genre of vocal music, of vocalization, where it's more slow and emotional. There, there are prolonged vowel syllables there are emotional vocals sometimes often presented before the actual song begins right there's this vocalization long syllables and uh, so seeing that and those arabic quarter notes and the fluctuations in rhythm as she holds the notes is different than what you would find in a lot of western songs and that's one of the things i find so beautiful is just to explore this emotionally psychologically but even when it comes to vocal performance and ability very unique the lyrics we'll keep listening i really want someone to love i'm bored my, in my heart i feel like i was created for someone to love um, i want someone close to me who doesn't feel time time forgets me um, maybe the idea of who doesn't forget me in time or after a while. Where are you coming from? Take me away from my worries, from my strange fears. Take me on my world. This is with Google Translator. But this idea of, yeah, being taken away, sweep me off my feet, perhaps give me an escape. And yet again, another way of how we try to deal with our loneliness and our pain or escape our existential fears and how our longing for relationship for a place where we can be intimate with someone, where we can deeply know someone and forget the worries of the world for a while. I think that's beautifully conveyed here with this wonderful love song. Let's keep listening. <laughs> elements are needs and the strings the orchestration that's beautiful
<laughs> I noticed that a few times in some of these videos, you know, as she stares into the camera, as she's embraced somebody. You don't really see the male counterpart, but you would like see her face all dreamy and lovey-dovey. I think the idea is pretty obvious here. So she's going from that lonely apartment, right, to imagining herself in this house with this lover of hers or this, this person, sunlight, right, it's very romantic. And now as she's falling into her bed, she falls into the clouds, right, very dreamlike as if she's drifting with this person. The lyrics being about take me away, right, where... Um, you know, we're basically away from the worries where people care, where somebody cares about her, or where, you know, people, where someone asks about her and she can just not worry and be free and away from the worries and the struggles and longing for love. I think many can relate to that, even if we would not communicate it in the same way, this idea of being loved, being cared for. A romantic, beautiful song from the beautiful lady from Lebanon. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shukran. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next ride. And remember to subscribe. Hey yo!